Welcome back to the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. I'm Mark Ramon, joined this week by Violet House Thor. And this is our 25th pairing show where we take a local song and we pair it up with uh, a well-known, nationally known, internationally known song that everybody's heard. And it has a similar vibe or a similar feel. And Yeah. And we think that if you like the nationally or internationally known song, you'll like the local one just as much, if not even more. Absolutely. And you just heard that um, oh. third entity track, Shoulda, out of Northampton, Massachusetts. Oh, whoa, that's super, super catchy. Oh, it's my earworm for the month, I think. <laughs> I mean, same, honestly. That's off our 22 release, the Keening Sessions, that I, I was blown away by uh, after I saw her live. Just absolutely incredible performer and really complicated, experimental, almost hyper-pop adjacent musician. And you paired her up with Sinead O'Connor, obviously the incredible, the incomparable Sinead O'Connor. And I think that's a really cool combo. When I first heard the third entity, I I thought their voice was really strikingly similar to Sinead O'Connor in her early days. And then Mm. this song was written during the early part of the pandemic. The artist thought a lot about grief and death and enrolled in some death doula trainings and learned about the ancient art of keening which is basically to make a long and loud cry of sorrow yeah and they incorporated it into um i think all the songs on the album i paired it with sinead o'connor and some of sinead's earlier stuff was kind of more primal kind of like that and i thought it was a good match yeah she's really always explored primal stuff throughout her career between the more pop side, between her 90s work and beyond into the experimental era. Uh, she's always been someone who's delved into that fear, into that feel and into those feelings without hesitation. And the third entity really channels a lot of that primal, visceral feeling, the just sort of discomfort of expressing your grief or your rage through whatever means necessary. And that's really exciting. That's kind of why i really like the third entity she's kind of going there so we've got a couple of really fun pairings coming up uh delving more into the sort of goth rock scene we're pairing up Bauhaus with midnight psychic as well as depeche mode with jason priest let's start things off with Bauhaus. here's she's in parties <laughs> 